Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 13.7 areas between curves and lines. 13.7 represents chapter 13, section 7 of the person A level mass, pure mass, year 1 textbook. Let's have a look at exam style question 1. The diagram shows part of a sketch of the curve with the equation y equal 2 over x squared plus x. The points A and B have x coordinates a half and 2 respectively. Find the area of the finite region R between A, B and the curve. Okay, so let's proceed with the solution. Firstly, I'm going to work out the full coordinates for A and B. So at A, x is equal a half. This implies that y is equal to 2 over a half squared plus a half. Okay, so if I put this into my calculator, I get y equal 17 over 2. Therefore, the coordinate for A would be a half and 17 over 2. Let's move on to the coordinates for B. So at B, we know that x is equal to, okay, so this implies that y is equal to over 2 squared plus 2. Okay, so y is equal 5 over 2. Therefore, the coordinate for B will be 2 and 5 over 2. Right, so now I'm going to proceed forward and work out the area R. So area R is equal, let's sketch it. So we've got something that looks like this, okay? This is your A coordinate and this is your B coordinate. So the coordinate for A is a half 17 over 2 and the coordinate for B is 2, 5 over 2. Okay, so this is our area R. We are trying to calculate this area R. Now I'm going to form two different areas and then subtract them in order to work out the area R. So I can be clever with this. What I can see over here is a trapezium. So I've got the area for trapezium. Okay. Take away. So if I want the area R, I need to calculate the area of the trapezium. Take away area under the curve. That will give me the area R. So take away area under the curve. Okay, right. So let's have a look at the trapezium very, very carefully. So this point is A and this point is B. Over here, what we have is the area under the curve. This point is A, this point is B. Okay, so the x coordinate of A, ladies and gents, it is a half. So over here, I can put a half. And the x coordinate of B, ladies and gents, it is two. So I can put two over here. Right, this will help me calculate the height of the trapezium. I can simply do 2 take away a half. This gives me 3 over 2. Okay, now we've got two parallel sides over here of the trapezium. This parallel side will basically be the y coordinate for A. So the y coordinate for A is 17 over 2. So that there is 17 over 2. And this parallel side over here would be the y coordinate for B. That would be 5 over 2. Okay, over here we're looking at the area under the curve. The lower limit of this area would be a half. And the upper limit of this area would be 2. Okay, so we've got the area of the trapezium, which is a half in bracket. Add the parallel sides together, so 17 over 2 plus 5 over 2, and then multiply by the height of the trapezium, ladies and gents, it is 3 over 2. Take away the area under the curve. Okay, so that would be the integral from the lower limit of the area, which is a half, to the upper limit of the area, which is 2. So we're integrating the curve. We are integrating 2 over x squared plus x. Now the first term, you can rewrite it as 2x to the power minus 2, so that it can be integrated then we've got plus x dx. Okay, so if I put this into my calculator, ladies and gents, I get 33 over 4 minus, okay, so I need to integrate this one here. Open square bracket, term by term integration. The first term integrates to minus 2x to the power minus 1. Add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. Let's integrate the second term. That would be plus a half 
x squared, close square bracket, taking limits from a half to two. So let's have a look at this square bracket over here. I can start by substituting the upper limit x equal two into here, so replace the x's with x equal two. That gives me one minus, substitute the lower limit x equal a half, replace the x's with x equal a half. This gives me minus 31 over 8. So if I put this into my calculator, ladies and gents, I get 39 over 8. Okay, so this square bracket over here evaluates to 39 over 8. Okay, so the area R, ladies and gents, is the area of the trapezium, which is 33 over 4, minus the area under the curve from x equal a half to x equal 2. So that was evaluated to be 39 over 8. So now I can subtract these two fractions. If I do this, I get 27 over 8 unit squared. So the area R, which is bounded by the line AB and the curve, is 27 over 8 unit squared. This completes exam style question 1. Moving on to exam style question 2. The diagram shows the line with equation y equal x minus 1 meeting the curve with equation y equal x minus 1 in brackets multiplied by x minus 5 in brackets at a and c. The curve meets the x-axis at a and b. Part a, write down the coordinates of a and b. Let's have a look at the solution to part a. Now, at a and b, y is equal to 0 because A and B represent x-intercepts. This implies that x minus 1 in bracket multiplied by x minus 5 in bracket is equal to 0. Now we can set both brackets equal to 0. So we've got x minus 1 equals 0, x minus 5 equals 0. This in turn gives us x equal 1, x equal 5. Therefore, the coordinates for A would be 1, 0, and the coordinates for B would be 5, 0. This completes part A of exam style question 2. Let's move on to part B. Find the area of the shaded region R bounded by the line, the curve, and the x-axis. Okay, so let's have a look at the area R. Now, before I work out the area R, I'm going to work out the coordinates for C, the point of intersection between the line and the curve. So what we have is at C, the line and the curve intersect. This implies that x minus 1 has to equal x minus 1 in bracket multiplied by x minus 5 in bracket. Let's solve this particular equation. Starting with the right hand side, we are going to expand the brackets x times x is x squared, x times minus 5 is minus 5x, minus 1 times x is minus x, and minus 1 times minus 5 is plus 5. Let's take everything to the right hand side. Okay. So we have 0 is equal x squared minus 6x minus x is minus 7x, plus 5 plus 1 is plus 6. Now we can solve this quadratic equation by the method of factorization. So we've got 0 equal double brackets x, x. So we would have minus 1 and minus 6. Minus 1 times minus 6 is 6, and minus 1 minus 6 is minus 7. Okay, so we can set both brackets equal to 0. This in turn gives us x equal 1, x equal 6. Now if you look at the line, we know that it intersects the curve at the point A, which has x coordinate 1. And at C, the x coordinate would be 6. Okay, so we take x equal 6 for the coordinate for C. So when x is equal 6, y will equal, we can substitute x equal 6 into the equation of the line or the curve to work out the y coordinate of C. I'm going to substitute x equals 6 into the equation of the line. So 6 minus 1 is 5. Therefore, the coordinate of C would be 
six, five. Now we are trying to work out the area of. So let's sketch the area of. Okay, so what does it look like? Well, ladies and gents, it looks something like this. We've got this curved part over here. Okay, so this is area R. Coordinate A, coordinate B, and coordinate C. Okay, so we're trying to calculate this area R. So area R equal this illustration here. Now we can split this into two different areas. So how do we calculate area R? Ladies and gents, let's go back to the diagram. I can drop a perpendicular over here. So I can start by finding the area of this right angle triangle. So if I draw that. Okay, so this point over here is A. This point over here is C. And this point was not labeled, so I'll just leave it like that. Okay? Right, so the x coordinate of A, ladies and gents, it is 1. And the x coordinate of C, ladies and gents, it is. So the gap over here, in other words, the base of the right angle triangle will be 6 take away 1, which is 5. The height of the right angle triangle is the y coordinate of C. So the y coordinate of C is 5. So this height is 5. So if I calculate the area of this triangle and then I subtract the area under the curve from B to that point, that will give me the shaded area R. So I need to take away the area under the curve. From the point B to this point over here. Okay. Now at B, the X coordinate is 5. And over here, what we have, that point is C. So the X coordinate of C is 6. Okay, so we calculate the area of this right angle triangle, base times height divided by 2. So we've got 5 times 5 divided by 2. Take away the area under the curve. Okay, so we have to integrate this area over here. has a lower limit of x equal 5 and the upper limit of x equal 6. The equation of the curve is x minus 1 in bracket multiplied by x minus 5 in bracket dx. Now before we integrate, we need to expand the double brackets. So we've got x minus 1 multiplied by x minus 5. x times x is x squared. x times minus 5 is minus 5x. minus 1 times x is minus x. minus 1 times minus 5 is plus 5. So if we simplify this, we get x squared minus 6x plus 5. So we've got 25 over 2, take away the integral from 5 to 6 of this, which is equivalent to this, x squared minus 6x plus 5 dx. Okay, so now I can apply term by term integration. Add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. So I've got 25 over 2, take away, open square bracket. The first term integrates to 1 over 3, x to the power 3. Second term integrates to minus 3x squared, and the third term integrates to plus 5x. Close square bracket, taking limits from 5 to 6. Okay, right. So now I'm going to evaluate the square bracket. I need to start off by substituting x equals 6, my upper limit. Okay, so if I do that, I get the following result. Minus 6, take away, substitute the lower limit, x equals 5 into here. Okay, so take away. When you substitute x equal 5, you get minus 25 over 3. Okay, so we are evaluating the square bracket. Right, I can put this into my calculator. And if I do this, I get 7 over 3. Okay, so this square bracket over here evaluates to 7 over 3. So equal 25 over 2 minus 7 over 3. Okay, so if I put this into my calculator, I get 61 over 6. Okay, so the area R is equal 61 over 6. Area 
r is equal to 61 over 6 units squared. Okay, so that there completes exam style question 2 and this teaching video 13.7 areas between curves and lines. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.